guys, this is Nate Maslin, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Uh, we're looking at the gold chart and then as usual we'll start with a 4 hour time frame and then we'll work our way uh, down from that time frame and then try to see where our potential support and resistances are within that time frame. Now by just looking at that time frame we can clearly see that the bigger resistance is between 13.20 and 13.40 and our uh, minor support is between 12.60 to 12.80 uh, and then the major support is between 12.20 to 12.40 now this is an important level of a support the reason that I say that because when the price did come uh, you know it fell from its uh, resistance of 13.60 to 13.80 which was a major resistance uh, this kind of a support was very much intact and in price never came into this zone of 1180 so now potentially what we have is we have a higher high higher low in a gold which is a sign of an uptrend uh, but yet we you know another higher low will definitely confirm that but this is the trend is in 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 place shortly because we have a higher low and we have a lower low but we do need a one more higher low in order to confirm that but at the same time the price has broken its downward trend line and then we are trading above that trend line and as long as we are trading above that trend line the bias remains towards the upside now in a more sh shorter term uh, the price is trading near its 50 day moving average which is the red line and it is above its 100 day moving average as well which is that yellow line uh, do we have any kind of, of pattern forming because as we are approaching towards this um, minor resistance but do ke keep in mind that we do have a re we have a level on top of level what do I mean by that is that there is a resistance level right at this point and then followed by another resistance level right at that point so aggressive investors you know they may want to participate at this level and then they wanted to execute a bigger position when the price comes into this level or for more passive investors you may just kind of want to wait for the price to come into this level and then may want to take a counter trend trade but this this is only for those kind of traders who do have a lot of experience in trading because counter trend trades are very much short lived and the profit potential is very small and uh, in contrast to our uh, trading in the direction of the trend the profit is pretty big and uh, the profit potential is huge as well uh, and then by looking at the RSI uh, this is the only thing which is kind of worrying me at the time being because the while the price is making the higher high or sign kind of moving in a sideway pattern the RSI is confirming that we are losing that momentum so we do have a kind of a positive uh, divergence which means that the price is moving in a sideway but the RSI is moving towards the downside so th this is a kind of a worrying sign and is it is a bearish sign for the price okay this is all for today and thanks for watching the video if you do have any further questions please feel free to comment and we'll come back to you on that